Hello boys and girls, welcome to another lesson. I wonder what we could be learning about today. Hmm, do you think we're learning about letters? Hmm, do you think we're learning about shapes? No, we're learning about let numbers. Great job, so we're learning about our numbers. Now we have done our numbers, writing our numbers from one all the way to what's this number? Number six, great job. So now we're going to learn the number after six. Hmm, what can that number be after six? Well, one way we can find out is if we sing our number song. Let's go. One is white and two is red, two is red. Three is light green, four is pink, four is pink, and five is yellow like the sun. Now our song is halfway done, halfway done. Six is dark green, seven's black, seven's black. So our next number is the number, great job, the number seven. And our seven is black. Great job. So, hmm, I wonder, what do you know has seven things? Seven days of the week. Great job. And we know that we can make a seven by doing five and two, or we can do a seven by making three and four. And they both come out to seven. Let's count and see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the other one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So th we can do our seven in two ways that we know about. Great job. And there are seven days in a week. Can we sing our song? There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Great job. So we know that seven is a special number, especially because we know that it has the seven days in a week. Great job. Hmm, I wonder. Can you do me a favor? Can you get up and jump seven times? Let me see you go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, great job. Hmm, can you go and get seven blocks and make a very tall tower using six blocks, eight blocks, seven blocks. Let's see, you build a tall tower using seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, great job. So now we know how to count to seven. We've done all of that last term and this term we're going to learn how to write our number seven. So is number seven like a stick, a straight line down that is very quick? No, that is our number, number one. Number one is like a stick, a straight line down that is very quick. So what's number two? How do we write number two? We go Around and back on the railroad track. Two, 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 two. Okay, so two, we know. And three, we know our three, we don't write it like this. We make it a little different. We go straight line across, slanted line down, around the tree. That's the way to make a three. Great job. And we like number four because it's full of straight lines. Down and over, down once more. That's the way to make a four. Great job. And then we get to that number five, which is nice and yellow. Do we start on this end? No. We start here in the corner. And the first place to go is straight line down, then around, hat on top, and five's a clown. Great job. And then number six. So number six 
First, you have to make a curve, then make a loop. There are no tricks to make a six. So when we do our number seven now, we have to do it starting at the top. We go across the sky, down from heaven. That's the way to make a Seven. Great job. Let's try that one more time. You point your finger at my number seven with me. Let's go. Across the sky and down from heaven. That's the way to make a seven. Great job. Fantastic. Okay. So now that we have practiced and we've learned the, the rhyme to do our number seven, we're going to do it making our sand number on our paper. Let's grab our glue, grab our sand and our paper, and we're going to make our number seven. Now using your glue, you're going to do your number seven. This is a pretty easy number, so if your child wants to do it, you can allow them to do it. We go across the sky and down from heaven. That's the way to make a seven. We're gonna now sprinkle on our sand, and when you have the excess of sand, you just shake Put it back into the container and when it's nice and dry you can trace it with your pointer finger saying across the sky down from heaven that's the way to make a seven great job now we're going to do it independently all on our own we're not following any pattern we're doing it in our sand or rice tray of course if you have a play-doh and you want to make your play-doh you can do that as well now we're going to go across the sky, down from heaven. That's the way to make a seven. Give that tray a little shake and let's try it again. Point your pointer finger and we're going to go across the sky and down from heaven. That's the way to make a seven. Great job. You're doing so well. Now this one is a nice and easy one because it's very similar to one. You just have to add across the sky. And it, this, the line down is a little slanted, but it's very easy. <laughs> All right, we're gonna grab our paper and our pencil now, and we're going to begin to trace. Now, when you're tracing, remember, we're going to start by, by using our pointer finger, and we're going to follow the ones already done for us. Across the sky and down from heaven, that's the way to make a seven. You can do that with all of the ones that are already done, and when you're done with using the correct pencil grip, we're going to trace the dotted lines very carefully, taking our time, saying the chant. Across the sky and down from heaven, that's the way to make a seven. We're going to do that with all the ones that are already done for us with the dotted lines. And then we're going to attempt to do it all on our own by the ones that only have the dots. Great job across the sky and down from heaven. That's the way to make a seven. Great job, everybody. Now, what I would like you to do, Play-Doh number, your Play-Doh number seven. Roll out your Play-Doh nice and long, make your number seven, and then trace it with your pointer finger again. Across the sky and down from heaven. That's the way to make a Seven, great job. Now I know you're waiting to do this video of the chicken dance song where you learn your numbers and how to trace them. So you're going to get to do that now. And I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and I look forward to seeing you soon with all of your trace sevens and your beautiful work. Great job, everybody. See you, bye.